today I'm going to show you how to add a golden shine effect to your photos. This effect is super fun and can look as subtle or as intense as you'd like. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, you can download the exercise image in the video description. So our goal for this image is to turn her skin into a golden metallic looking texture. To start that, I want to add some nice bright highlights and dark shadows to look like metal on her skin. First, let's do the highlights. I'm going to add a new fill layer by coming to the top of the screen to layer, then new fill layer. This layer is filled with white, which is perfect for our highlights. To apply this only to the highlight areas of her skin, I'm going to use blend ranges, which you can find over here by pressing on the gear icon. If you're new to using blend ranges, we actually have a whole video on that, which I'll leave linked in the video description. With the blend ranges open, we have our shadows node, and our highlights node. I want this to be fully applied to our highlights, so I'm going to come to our shadows node and I'll drag that down. Now the darkest areas are visible and the white is being applied to the highlights. We can continue to drag this shadow node over to only apply it to the brightest of highlights. I want to add a bit of shine to the face, so I'm watching the face as I drag this over until it has the right amount of shine. I think that's looking pretty good for the face, but I want more shine on her body down here. If I drag this over more, you can see what I mean. I think that looks better for the body, but now the face is too bright. I'll bring this back to where the face looks good, and then I'll close out of this. To have this only be applied to the face, I'm going to invert this layer. So I'll press Command or Control I to do that. Now I'll press B for my brush tool, and then I can paint in white with my paintbrush tool. I'll just make sure that my settings up here look good. I want full flow and 0% hardness. Now I'll paint in white over her face to reveal the shine. Now I'm going to repeat this process one more time just for her body area down here. So I'll add another fill layer by coming to layer, new fill layer. Then I'll go back to my blend ranges and bring down that shadow node until the chest looks good. There we go, I think that's looking good. I'll close out of this and then I'm going to invert this layer by pressing Command or Control I. Then I'll press B for my paintbrush tool and paint in white over this area to add in the shine. You can always adjust the size of your paintbrush by using the bracket keys on your keyboard. All right, let's take a look at what we have so far. Here's the before and here's the after, adding in those highlights. I love how this is looking. It definitely looks more metallic on the skin. To complement these highlights and make them stand out even more, I want to add in some shadows. So we'll do the same process we did for the highlights, but reversed. I'll come up to the top to layer, new fill layer. This time I don't want it filled with white, I want it filled with a black color. Then I'll come to my blend ranges, and instead of bringing down the shadows, I'll bring down the highlights. So now you can see that this is only applied to the darkest areas of our image, and as I bring this over, you can see it begin to disappear. Now let's start with the face first. So I'm looking right here as I drag this over. And I just want to add some nice shadow detail. I think that's looking pretty good for the face, so I'll close out of this 
and then press Command or Control I to invert this layer. Then I'll press B for my paintbrush tool. I'll change my colors to the default by pressing D, and then I can paint in white over the face to reveal this shadow. Here's the before and after of that. Let's do this one more time for the neck and chest. I'll go to layer, new fill layer, and then I'll choose black. Then I'll come to blend ranges and bring down the highlights and then begin to drag it over. I think that looks good for the neck and chest. So I'll press command or control I to invert this. Then I'll press B for my paintbrush, D for default colors, and then I'll paint in white over the neck and chest. All right, let's take a look at this so far. Here's the before and the after. You can definitely see that this technique has added a lot of contrast to the skin. Very nice. Now it's time to add in some color. For this, I'll add an adjustment by clicking on our adjustments icon, and then I'm going to choose the recolor adjustment. I'm going to change the hue to a golden color and then I'm going to decrease the saturation. Now I only want this coloring applied to the skin, so I'm going to invert this layer by pressing Command or Control I. Then I can paint in white just over the skin. My strategy for this is to trace the outline of the skin first. Make sure not to forget the arm. All right, once you have a good outline, you can hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and click on the Recolor Adjustment layer icon right here. This brings up a preview of where we've painted. And now we can just paint in white on the inside of our outline to make sure that it's fully filled in. To return to our normal view, I'm just going to click on any of the other layers. I'm going to select the recolor adjustment layer again, and I want to remove this from the eyes and the lips. To do this, I'm going to press X to switch my color to black. Then I'm going to lower the flow of my paintbrush so that I can gradually remove this. Now that we have the gold color applied to the skin, I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer. We just want this to look nice and subtle. The last step is to make the rest of the image warmer so that it matches our new golden skin tone. To do this, I'll come down to our adjustments and then apply a lens filter. We can bring down the optical density to make it a bit less extreme. And there you have it. Let's take a look at the complete before and the after of this golden shine effect. At this point, you can play around with the opacities of each layer if you want the effect to be more or less intense. Very nice. I hope you enjoy applying this effect to your own photos. If you want to learn our affinity workflow, then check out the free course below.